everything. What is bottom? bottom okay, so I was living. Uh, I moved out here uh, with this uh, woman I'm engaged to, and uh, and when you're fucked up, you attract fucked up people. That's basically how it works. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't know what the deal was with her. I was like, this. There's just some weird shit going on. Um, she didn't know. She didn't understand money at all. And I say, like, one day I, I got a Lexus commercial. It was my first commercial ever. I'm like, I got a Lexus commercial. And then she comes home from work and she goes, I quit my job. You got a Lexus commercial. I'm like, that's not. It's going to run for three weeks. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's regional, goddammit. Oh, well, I took a shit on the ball to death. So I think, uh, I think I might be looking for a new job. Yeah. So uh, she didn't know how to drive and she refused to learn how to drive. So I had to drive her everywhere. And, uh, and she would just, we had, we literally had like 40 bottles of shampoo. Like she would just walk by stuff and buy it. I thought it. you were going to say champagne. I swear to God, you got, you got really far into that word before he took a left turn on me. <laughs> champagne would make a lot more we were sense. Just re- we were just ready to celebrate, man. We were going to do it whenever it happened. I'm sorry. I went overboard with this Lexus commercial. Thing. There's a zebra being delivered tomorrow. <laughs> So she was always out of money and I was paying for everything. And then, um, and my career wasn't doing that hot. And then one day we got a call. Uh, I don't know if I told you the story on the crab piece, but uh, I get up in the morning and she's crying. She's like l- just losing it. And I'm like, what's going on? She goes, I can't tell you. And I'm like, you got, you, we're, in, we're at this point we're engaged. Because yeah. why wouldn't I marry this woman? It was yeah. all so great. Sounds perfect. And, uh, and she's bawling and freaking out. I'm like, look, we're getting married. You, you can't not tell me. You got to tell me everything. So the mob had called the mob, the mob. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I had a cousin. We had the mob, the Duke call the Duke. Actually, someone called on the Duke's behalf and said, tell him. The oh, Duke called. Yeah. So someone else like, calls. This is fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy. Uh, so it turns out what had happened was after her. After we got engaged, her dad borrowed $5,000 from the mob and took it to the track because he, he couldn't afford a wedding for us. <clears throat> so his idea, and you can see how the- Oh, I'm feeling this strategy, yeah. <laughs> you see how this works. Some long shots Yeah, that's there, right. You know? And, and just- All create, five on one all- race. <laughs> I don't know how much you did. I mean, you got to scatter it up a little. I never, I never went into like, so which horses did you bet on? Or, um, uh, so he lost it all in a day. And so now he was paying weekly payments and now he couldn't pay them anymore. Like he had no five more. grand is probably what with them with juice and everything. Double, like he, he'd, already, he'd already paid them like 10 grand and he still owed five grand. Like you just keep paying. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, 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 that doesn't take anything off the top. You're, <laughs> yeah. This is all interest. <laughs> interest. <laughs> so, uh, so he, uh, so he he sold all of his tons of his possessions, and he's like, I, I, I don't know what to do. And the mob calls him up and says, "Well, so this is John Gotti Jr.'s crew, so it's kind of a sad crew." And they're out in Long Island, and he's in Brooklyn, and so they. Oh, John Gotti family. That's with Dave Anthony's thoughts alone. I thought hey, it was pretty uh, solid. Yeah, he think I think you're kind of weak. <laughs> uh, I don't like the clothing. It's all very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so they call him up and they say buy a ticket get on the train and come out to long island we're gonna break your legs <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> pay for yourself to come to your own leg break it's party the most fucked up like or we'll come and kill you uh so yeah so he has to go buy. he so he's he, he's like, um, you know, I don't want to do that. <laughs> that sounds like a bad deal for me. Uh, and then uh, somehow one of the mob guys figured out my fiance's phone number. Somehow, or he was like, like you then, know I, what? Instead I, of getting my legs broke, let me give you my dog. <laughs> <laughs> fiance's name's Dave. <laughs> Probably not home, spends a lot of time in Alaska. <laughs> If he's not working in Alaska, but that guy loves to work up there. I'll tell you, man. He I know, is he a lumberjack? I don't know what he does. <laughs> um, so, 
so she gets his call and they tell her and they want five thousand dollars and so she's fr- freaking out and i'm just like okay i have to pay this like what else am i gonna right, do yeah. right <clears throat> and then i so this all happens in one day like i i call back the gangster and i'm like hey uh i'm dave i'm her you know Jenny's fiance, and he's like, uh, yeah, very, we he's very about, We heard like, about you. Her yeah, dad yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, congratulations. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear your hair's really clean. You got a lot of shampoo. <laughs> Looks like you're all going to get married at the courthouse now, but uh, congrats, man. <laughs> so, uh, so he says, uh, hey, uh, do you want to pay this off? And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. I have, I have that in my, thank God that's all my savings. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and so um so he everything i have he goes uh so he goes so you're gonna you're gonna pay this debt i go yeah he goes i want you to say these words this debt is not mine and i'm like i'll pay the debt he goes say the words <laughs> And I'm like, Gee, I guess Jesus Christ, you guys are so fucking ridiculous. Like, I'm gonna pay you the fucking money. He goes, you're taking over the debt. And I'm like, fuck. Where's this gonna go? But if I pay you five thousand yeah. dollars, yeah, it's gone. And I'm like, I'm like, if I'm taking over the debt, why, why do I have to say this? If, right. I, if I'm paying you, he goes, it's how it works. I'm like, okay, the code of fucking idiots. Uh, and then you guys are all gonna squeal on each other, even though, oh yeah, there's a same code. Like, it's all that shit. So, um, I say that i'm like i am taking over the debt it is now my debt and he goes okay now i'm going to give you a bank account number he gives me his wife's bank account number and i go to the bank and i have the money wired to her and then i go home call him again and he's like the debt is now paid it's over and he goes, you should get him some help. I'm like, yeah, that, thank you. Uh, <laughs> there's, I have some other shit to deal with also. Uh, so I got him I'm a- booking an Alaskan cruise. <laughs> I got a lot of shit going on, man. Uh, and, then my, and then my fiance breaks down and tells me that he was a degenerate gambler growing up. That's when no one his family will have anything to do with him. He was... Her mother would make money and they'd hide it in the sock drawer and the dad would come home and rifle through all the clothes. And, and like, it was just, they lived a nightmare. And I was like, oh, that's why we're together. Cause you also had a fucked up background. So at that point I was literally just done. Like it was just like the switch turned off and I was like, whoop, we're fucking over. It's all over.